What are the best Shopify SEO apps in 2024? Now, before we begin, I want to say there's no magic Shopify app that's just going to scale your organic revenue instantly, right? SEO is something that requires brain power and some strategy. But that being said, I'm going to share a quick case study on this first Shopify app that really did increase revenue, increase uh, traffic almost instantly after we applied the app. And so we're gonna jump in with number one, JSON LD for SEO. This is an incredible app that adds something called schema code to your website and your products. Schema, you can see more on schema.org, is a programming kind of language that search engines like Google, Yandex, Bing, all the major search engines developed to transmit knowledge to the search engines. So this is structured data that tells Google exactly about your product, how much it's costs, its quantity, its reviews, its ratings, everything about the product, you can give it to the Google bot in super clear language. This is in the head code of your website. We get all technical and nerdy, but this means that it's super accessible for the Google bot. They quickly render it, quickly extract it. And at the end of the day, what generates revenue is that you get these beautiful SERP features. So as you can see, you get reviews on Google. So when you search your product, search a general product, whatever it might be, you can see the reviews and ratings on the search engine results page or the SERP. And so this gives you much better CTR or click through rate. You know, people see the reviews, they see the product. You can even, you know, incentivize an image of your product pulling into Google. And so schema or structured data is very important for SEO and JSON LD for SEO by Alana is super quick win. If you have no schema, it's a really nice app to quickly add schema pretty much as a one click button and you add schema. And, you know, I did promise a little case study. One of our clients actually added this app and from that point onward, you know, along with some other SEO work, their traffic skyrocketed. They start. They pretty much went from nothing to hundreds of people every day on their website, on their product pages. And one of the biggest things for that was JSON LD for SEO. And so it's definitely a major recommendation. If you're starting out in SEO, you wanna get some structured data. Now, some of your themes already will add structured data into the code or schema. And so you have to be a little bit aware of that. But Alana, the owner of the app, super cool. She's super nice, great customer support. She's a real person. So kudos to that. And she'll help you figure out how to set up the app. Number two, we have a simple one. So we're gonna change the vibe a little bit. So I love this app, Shopify uh, Site Mapper. And so it's just called Site Mapper, quick SEO HTML site. And now HTML site maps are an old concept in SEO. We used to do this all the time back in the day. They're less important now, but they still do their job, which is allow Google to access and know about all the websites, all the pages on the website. And so this is a super quick one-click button that creates an HTML sitemap of all your collections and all of the pages on the website for Google to quickly scroll, quickly crawl, and find all the pages on your website. Um, this can be really good for decreasing crawl depth. So sometimes you'll have a page you know that you have to click five times, 10 times to get to that page, a sitemap will help Google find the entirety of your website. This is especially important if you have a large website. So if you're, you know, 30, 40,000 pages, you definitely want to consider an HTML sitemap, um, especially if your internal linking isn't perfect. Again, I won't go too, too intellectual or over the top nerdy. You can find that in my other videos. This is a basic one. So Sitemapper is a great way to create quick HTML sitemaps for a quick boost, especially if you have over a thousand products on your website. And now number three, Matrixify. Matrixify is <laughs> the favorite app of mine on the Shopify store. And it's also just, I mean, it's a favorite of all of my friends, right? So what it allows you to do is bulk edit things and not just a thing, you can bulk edit almost anything. And so this is the magic of Matrixify you can bulk edit almost anything in your product data. So especially if you have over a thousand products or hundreds of products, thousands, whatever it is, you can update those at scale. And so as I showed in my Shopify SEO video, you can check it out here. I go in deep detail and in the description about how you can use this app Matrixify along with SEM Rush to scale your, your SEO optimization. So when you're actually putting in the keywords, all the nerdy SEO stuff, 
You can do that at scale with Matrixify. So let me slow down. I get a little excited sometimes. Matrixify is a very interesting tool that allows you to export all of your products with the relevant data. And that might be the product name, the product description, the title tag, the, you know, all these different areas. If you know SEO, it allows you to export a ton of SEO data, like image alt text and all of these things. And the magic happens is that you can actually import that back into Shopify after you have edited it. So you can bulk optimize the SEO title tag, the H1, the product description, even with ChatGPT in a spreadsheet which I show in that video in the description, and then re-upload that to Shopify and have just you know thousands of products optimized very quickly. And so Matrixify, uh, along with SEO, it's great at bulk editing, but it can also do tons of cool stuff, especially for merchandising, if you're tagging products, you can export and import tags, you can do all kinds of stuff, product types, any data in your product database, you can pretty much edit with Matrixify. Fourth on the list, we have SC Easy Redirects. Now, this is a little bit more technical, but it's very great at doing some tricky 404, 301 redirects that Shopify won't always let you do. So you can redirect live pages. Um, so Shopify will only let you redirect normally in its internal system if a page is already 404 or, or aired out or blank or dead, right? And this allows you to do live pages, which is sometimes necessary. Also helps you to fix broken links on your website at scale. You can receive alerts and reminders. There's quite a few uh, nice little tools in this set, SC Easy Redirects. It's a little bit more technical, but if you're having problems with 404s and different redirect codes and fixing those, it can be a great, great tool for your, its SEO benefits. Now, last on the list, I'll add actually quite a few just kind of general tools that uh, can help with SEO, but we don't personally use them too often because most of the functionality we need can be done with our internal dev team or with Matrixify. Matrixify is kind of like the Swiss army knife. So if any is, uh, is something you want to try, you should try Matrixify. But these can be really nice for beginners. And so I want to include them kind of as honorable mentions, which one of those is Hextom bulk image edit in SEO. Uh, you can do some cool stuff with bulk images. You can you know, uh, do alt text at scale. Again, I like my alt text to just pull the product name normally, but you can do some cool alt text with this tool. You can rename file names. You can minimize files for some page speed improvements. You can also crop them, rotate images, add a watermark. There's a lot of cool bulk image editing uh, you can do with Hextom bulk image edit in SEO. So that's definitely a good option. The other popular one that uh, we've used before is Booster SEO and Image Optimizer. It can do some cool stuff as well. Again, we usually don't rely on these tools too much, so I can't give you a, a you know big recommendation. Uh, I don't really use these tools too often unless I need to. But they do a lot of the similar type of stuff. They're kind of one-stop shops for SEO. You know, they try to do like autopilot optimization. I wouldn't trust that with Booster. Um, you have some broken link stuff, which is nice, but you can also use Screaming Frog or any of the enterprise tools that all SEOs use. So these are good for beginners, but um, I'm putting them here at number five because they're not, uh, we don't really use them too much in the agency unless we have a need to. So I hope you gained some value from those top five Shopify apps. Um, leave a like if any of these kind of interested you or you learned anything new. Uh, we're posting a ton about Shopify SEO. That's kind of the name of the season. This is the fall uh, of Shopify. And so subscribe if you're interested in uh, Shopify SEO and growing your online sales with Google um, on Shopify. Uh, we'll be doing a ton of that. So like, comment if you have any questions. What do you want to see next? Like I said, we're doing a ton of Shopify. So let me know what you want next. We are a Shopify SEO agency. So we, you know, we've pretty much done it all with Shopify. And so if you are interested in discussing even working together, I also have a Calendly in the description where we do a strategy call and I look through your industry and figure out how or whether SEO is even useful for you. You know, oftentimes people will come to me and they do not need SEO. And so I, I tell them that, right? So if you're curious of if, you know, all this research you're doing into Google and SEO is actually gonna make you money or if it's not quite right for your industry or your brand, uh, I would suggest, uh, you know, scheduling a call and I can let you know. So thank you so much for your time. You have a great rest of